and welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, like always, I appreciate swinging by and watching a beer review. Uh, tonight's episode, as you can see, the pumpkin shirt's on. We're in the middle of some uh, pumpkin uh, beer reviews here on the channel. Uh, this here is one out of Taft's Brewing Company out of uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, just um, about an hour and a half uh, from where I live out here in Ohio. This is a collaboration between Taft's Brewing and Frisch's, uh, like Frisch's Big Boy Restaurants. Um, this here uses the, uh, like the flavoring, the pumpkin pie flavoring uh, that Frisch uses in their pies, in their pumpkin pies. And um, they put it in this uh, pumpkin ale here with Taft Brewing. Uh, ABV on this, I will have listed uh, below. I can't find it here on the can. Now it could be underneath this, uh, the label there, I paid $2.29 for this uh, can here. So the ABV, um, I'm guessing uh, five to six is probably what it's gonna be. Let's see if I can peel this off. Let's see how easy it's coming off of here. 6% uh, ABV. Um, if I can find a uh, the uh, IBU, it will uh, also be listed. So I actually got that out of the way. So I actually see the the Taft's logo there, you got uh, like the uh, outline of President Taft um, in the uh, the bathtub there. That's the same as their logo there, Taft's Brewing. Uh, again, 6% alcohol by volume. As far as the artwork on this, hey man, it just screams pumpkin pie. Uh, the Frisch's logo there, um, pumpkin L, everything just comes together nicely on this. Uh, probably can give this about a four out of five as far as the artwork goes. This just screams pumpkin pie. So um, we'll crack this open. I've never had a Frisch's uh, slice of pumpkin pie. I usually don't um, I have any at Frisch's in a while. I usually don't get their uh, their desserts, their pies, or anything like that when I'm there. But I'm sure it's pretty good. Uh, so let's crack this thing open and uh, see what it has to offer. Just a nice... Uh, ambery looking color as it's pouring here looks like it's producing a nice head up on top of that about a finger and a half we'll set this right up here uh, about a finger a half a head on that um so it's coming across way uh darker on the uh camera there than it really is i'm picking up a nice uh i can kind of see a silhouette through it just a nice copperiness to this uh, again, on top of that, just a really uh, fluffy um, head up on top of this, like a, a thick, uh, foamy one, frothy head on top of this. It has actually dying out rather quickly. It does uh, got some nice lacing as far as uh, right now, anyhow. So let's get in a, a nose on this and see what the aroma uh, has to offer. Typical pumpkin ale. The pumpkin, the spices is all there. So this is the second pumpkin L that I've done this year. Um, and I haven't had a pumpkin L uh, up until, you know, this time recording them for the channel for 2020. I haven't had one in a couple years. So, pumpkin, like an allspice, like a, a, a cinnamon or something like that in there is what I'm picking up. Typical pumpkin spices. Um, just what I'm picking up on this thing here. So uh, let's get a drink on it. See what it's all about. So a little bit of a booziness to it. Uh, thinner side of medium body. Kind of a sticky mouth feel. For 6% ABV, the, the booziness does. I can pick that up. Um, I can pick that up quite a bit. 
So, I don't think it tastes like Frisch's Pumpkin Well, I've never had Frisch's Pumpkin Pie. I don't think it tastes like pumpkin pie. Uh, pumpkin flavoring. Yeah, there's some pumpkin flavoring in here. I wish there was more of it. Okay. Some like just a, a generic pumpkin pie. Um, generic pumpkin flavoring is kind of what I'm getting. Um, this definitely doesn't uh, blow you away by any means at all. Um, some cinnamon, nutmeg, typical spices, typical pumpkin pie spices uh, that you would expect is in here. Tastes like about every other um, pumpkin L. There's, there's nothing in here that really separates it this, itself away from, from the others. Um, other than Frisch's, Pumpkin L, the little Frisch's character on there, um, and the Frisch's logo, um, just makes it an attractive uh, a beer there, an attractive buy just because of that. But uh, is it a great Pumpkin L? No. Um, is it a bad one? No. Uh, just nothing special about it. Nothing jumps out at me. Um, you know, it, it's got a uh, kind of a crispness to it, kind of refreshing, wet, sticky mouth feel. Um, maybe a bit of a mild caramel to it as well. A um, little bit of a sweetness, maybe that's from a caramel that's in there maybe it's from um, I don't know really what they use to sweeten this thing as far as uh, rating this I'm probably good with about 3.75 um, out of 5 uh, it's probably on the higher side um, yeah it's a little disappointed I'm a, I'm a little disappointed in this, if I'm being honest with you. I was expecting a nice, um, pumpkin-y, uh, sweet pumpkin -y, like a sweeter pumpkin, um, pumpkin pie, you know, cut it with a fork, take a bite out of it, the pumpkin pie, that type of flavor, and it's, it's not here. Uh, so as far as that, it's a little disappointing. It's just average, uh, pumpkin L, in my opinion. Nothing that's going to blow your uh, blow your socks off or anything. Uh, I do recommend it, though. It's a pumpkin L. Hey, buy all the different ones that you can and try them out. Uh, check them all out. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, the best I can do is about 3.75 out of 5 on this one here. So, uh, anyhow, it's going to be on to the next one. Um, I'm probably going to just record another one here tonight. Um, I don't know what order I'm going to upload these in. But, um, hey, check them out. Check out my Oktoberfest beer reviews. i got some other fall beers coming up here on the channel. So check all those things out. Like, subscribe, comment. Check me out on social media. Uh, hit that notification bell down below.